Hey guys! And welcome back to my channel and to the second episode of our vintage home. As you can see, David is pumping gas and we're on our way to ikea and we're looking for bed sheets nice curtains so things that i did not want to decide without david when i went to ikea with my mom yesterday and then afterwards we want to go to the flat to first of all get this nice armchair that we um got yesterday to the flat and just see where we can put it i am so so excited for this armchair you guys so that's the plan for today and then we will probably also clean the last window Hello. and there he is so now let's go to ikea <laughs> Should we get a tent for our living room? <laughs> yes, in the middle. <laughs> the so we can go seat. camping. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is a fabric that David and me picked out that we actually really like. But it's a bit thick, so I'm not sure, and a bit stiff, but the print is nice. Maybe for the living room. I'd love to get you on a slow boat to China. How beautiful is this mirror? How does IKEA have such beautiful mirrors? I'm in shock. I need this. Guys, we got the mirror. I hope it fits. Melting your heart of stone. Guys, we got our first piece of furniture. And I love it so much. Oh my god. It's this gorgeous, probably 1930s armchair. And I don't know, the color is kind of brownish, but also reddish. <laughs> Um, it's a mix of both, I think, of like brown, red, and orange, and it's just really, really nice. I think it goes very well with the color of the walls, and yeah, we will put this here. I think we have to clean the back of it because there are like some spider webs, but other than that, it's in really good condition. As you can see, it only has like some few spots here, but I don't really mind. I think it's really, really cool. And another thing that we got is this, hello, gorgeous IKEA actually, Art Deco kind of um, mirror and it's so beautiful. I'm so happy that we got this. I think it would go nice in the living room, but it might be too big. So I think it's probably a good mirror for the bedroom since it's probably too big for the bathroom. <laughs> so yeah, I love it. So it is the next day and today will actually be the first day in like one week that I am not at the flat doing stuff because David is again not here and also I don't have anyone else who is able to help me today. So I am actually doing some online shopping for the flat and I have to do like 10,000 other things like contracts and just small little things that need to be done before moving in. Also, we decided that moving in before Christmas, which is literally in two days, is very unrealistic. So we will try to move in next week, which will be between Christmas and New Year's Eve. 
and that could even go wrong. I feel like when you move in, it's very hard to actually set a date to move in because there's always stuff that you could do before moving in. But one thing that me and David really, really need before moving in is a kitchen and like a stove that is functioning because as you saw in my last video, um, the stove that is in our flat is pretty trash and everything else in the kitchen as well. So we have to get a whole new kitchen and um, yeah, before that we can move in. So right now I'm doing some online shopping. I am looking at Ikea to see if we can find something for the kitchen. And um, I'm also looking for some sofas and like other furniture. So I thought I would just take you along a bit. So I'm currently looking for a kitchen sink and all the stuff that needs to go with it. And oh my God, it's so much <laughs> that we have to think of. Currently I'm thinking that we will probably take this one. At Ikea you can just literally put everything together the way you want to so it will not look like this but this will be probably the model that we will go for because we don't have that much space in the kitchen so I think this is the only stuff that we can fit in. I am in love, literally in love with this. I need this so bad but it's 150 euros and I feel like we're spending already way too much money on everything like the sink and stuff so i think i have to let it go but it's so beautiful and i will probably go with this one which is like only 50 euros so much more in our price range and i think it's still nice i love the handles they're pretty old school and then i will probably try to get some other handles um for the kitchen that is in the same like um silver color like for example either these handles um like the i feel like these are the typical ikea ones or i also found these one which will go with the white and metal kind of or silver theme these are also nice also how gorgeous is this 1930s sofa this is so pretty Oh my god, I love it. It's actually also in Berlin, so we could easily pick it up, but of course it has to be the most expensive one. So this would be option number two. This is also from the 30s and it's actually a sofa and it has two armchairs. It's like a two and a half hour drive from Berlin. And these are in this like velvety material. They come across much darker on camera than they are on the photos. I'm not sure how well they go with the armchair that we already bought though. All right, and this is the one that we actually already reserved. It is also like a two and a half hour drive away, but we could easily pick it up next week after Christmas. Um, and this one guys is 15 euros. And it's from the 30s as well. And I just love these wood details. I think they're so elegant. And I really, really, really wanted a sofa that comes with these details because they're like very typical for the 30s. As you can see, it's in this like greenish color, but not too bright. Yeah, it's in a very good shape. It's 15 euros. The owner says it's very comfortable. So this is the one that we already already reserved, but of course I just want it to be perfect. So I'm also looking at the other ones. And another thing that I wanted to show you is this absolutely stunning vintage wardrobe that I found just today, actually. I am in love. This is such a beautiful design. I could just right away buy it and put it in our bedroom because we think that our bedroom will be more like furnished in white furniture just because my vanity table is white so we thought we would just go with the whole white theme and then go with like brown furniture in the living room but you guys how beautiful is this i love these curtains or drapes i just oh, i am in love it's not that expensive for a nice big wardrobe, but it's like five hours away. So yeah, I'm not sure if we can actually do this, but I really, really hope it. I will discuss it with David today. I am just in love. Honestly, I need it. <laughs> It is 27th 
of December, which is the first day after Christmas and I got the flat as you can see. So we took a little break over the holidays, so over the 24th to 26th. On the 24th we literally put like all of the things that we bought in Ikea into the flat. As you can see here on the side there is our stove. Um, but other than that we did nothing and we just like relaxed and had a nice Christmas. So today we're back on track and I'm so excited because this week I feel like some major changes are going to happen. Today my friend Nilsa will come and help me paint the tubes white in the kitchen and later on my family will come and help us clean the flat and um, my stepdad will also start getting all of the trashy <laughs> things in the kitchen out. Unfortunately, our property management um, is being really annoying because they don't want to get out the things themselves just right now. They're like, no, we can only do it on like the 4th of January. But the thing is, we cannot move in until the kitchen is done because obviously we need something to cook and just like get basic things like water out of the tub. And we've been renting this flat officially on the 15th of December so it is now the 27th and they're like telling us that they can only start moving other things out on the 4th of January. On Wednesday the 29th um, David and me are actually going to pick up the sofa that I showed you a few days back. We decided on getting and sticking to the plan of getting the green one but we also got the nice wardrobe that I showed you a few days back. So yeah, I'm so excited. Um, we already paid, so it's definitely coming our way, but now we have to find someone who can transport it because it is like five hours away by car and we cannot do that. So someone else will do it. But yeah, so we got the wardrobe and we will get the sofa and then everything will already feel much more like home. I will probably already start doing the second coat on the water tubes. Yeah, so let's go, I'll take you along. <laughs> And we started painting this one as well and it's actually looking so much better i'm so happy with this so the next task will be all of these small tubes here and here <laughs> So it is the next day and as you can see, the living room is so chaotic right now. So this is the stove and the tab that we have to get out of the kitchen. You can see how dirty it looks. It's just really, really ugly and dirty, so it has to go. Yeah, my stepdad also did some progress on building the cabinets for the kitchen. But there's still a lot to do, as you can see. It's just a big, big mess. Everything is in here. Yesterday, I painted all of the tubes white in here. And I think they look just so, so, so much better now. I'm really, really happy with how they look now. And I also did it in the kitchen, which I will show you in a sec. The kitchen looks totally transformed. First of all, there's nothing in there anymore. So it looks just bigger. And also all of the tubes are white, which makes such a huge difference. But I will show you that in a sec. David will come in like 30 minutes and help us. And then the other thing that happens today that's very exciting is that we will get our fridge and our washing machine. And also, as you can see, this wall right behind me, 
We'll probably also get some love today as we will try to paint it in the same green as the other walls. And then we might also have to go to Ikea and um, change one thing for the kitchen. So as you can see, a really packed day. I'm really, really looking forward to receiving the fridge and the washing machine. All right, so a quick kitchen update. So as I told you, Nils and me painted all of these tubes white. It makes such a huge difference. Look, we also painted all of these tubes white. Just looks much more like clean and elegant. Also, ta-da! The stove and the tub is out and we even already put this one kitchen cabinet in, which is not ready yet, but we just wanted to see how the proportions would look like. And now I can finally start to imagine this really being my kitchen because before that it looked so sad. Also, we have some light. <laughs> we did it yesterday because before we did not have any light in here. So yeah, everything is coming together. <laughs> And who took three days off to help us. Oh, oh wow, it's going well already. <laughs> Best. Yeah, definitely. problem because the table will definitely not fit in here like from the door to the fridge mm. obviously we also have to open it so it's really not realistic so we have to see maybe we can find like a really really small table also we now have a bit of space here so we might put something else here like a nice shelf or something You'll see. All right, guys, so a little update. It's a few hours later again, and um, David and I have been out organizing some other things. The washing machine is currently at his place uh, because they got the addresses wrong. But anyway, we will get that probably in the next few days. But something that I wanted to show you before is that uh, when we went to David's place, um, his mom gave us these beautiful 1930s lamps, and I just wanted to show you them because they're so nice and they just go so well on to the fridge. Here's the fridge and look how adorable. <laughs> just, oh my God, it's so fitting. Um, so she gave us two. This is the one we decided to put on the fridge. Also, the metal is just perfect together. Like, oh my God, like it was meant to be. And it already makes it so much more cozier. Like imagine, like, I don't know, grabbing a snack when it's dark outside and you're just putting on this lamp. That's how they look like without the light. And it just goes so well together. Oh my God. Yeah, we will see what we will do with the other one. Maybe it will go in the living room. Hi everyone. Hey, hello. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, David and me are in a little bit of a different setting right now. We actually rented a car to pick up the sofa that I showed you a few days back. It's actually a two hour drive and then afterwards we have to drive two hours back again. But we kind of have to do it because we think it will go very nicely in the living room. Um, so I really, really hope that first of all, it is actually as comfortable as the seller says. And I also hope that it goes with the armchair and the paint on the walls. So. That's the adventure that we're up to for today and I will probably update you in a bit after we bought the sofa. Yes. <laughs> Every night he sits in the house alone cause he ain't got rhythm. 
guys it is now totally dark as you can see but we just picked up the sofa it's such an adventure here's david hello <laughs> what do you think of the sofa it's beautiful perfect and best price 15 euros guys 15 euros no it's in really really good condition and very cute sellers yeah, the sellers were very cute. They were like this middle-aged couple or even a bit older. And they were so cute. They were like, what? You drove two and a half minutes from Berlin just for the sofa? You're so crazy. <laughs> but we have to drive home now and get the sofa there. So I will probably stop vlogging here and I will probably see you in the next days because we will be too tired to vlog. two days later and <laughs> we got a sofa <laughs> so that's the one that we picked up and they just go very well together so i'm really glad that we decided on getting this one as you can see it is currently standing in the bedroom just because the living room is still a storage room and very chaotic so after we tidied it up a bit more. We can finally put this one in the living room. So we have to go now, but I quickly want to show you the process that we made. So first of all, now all of our walls are green and I think it looks much, much better. I'm really, really happy now. That's also a very nice contrast with the white door and the red floor. Wow, that was a rhyme. <laughs> anyway, so that's one of the things. And then the more exciting one. Guys, we got a tab. So I chose the ceramic one by Ikea and the, that one was actually sold out. So I found it on eBay, fortunately, because I was totally in love and I was so, so devastated when they told me that it was sold out because fun fact, I hate metal tabs. I just, I don't know what it is guys, but I hate it. <laughs> so I'm so glad that we got the white ceramic one. It just looks so much more elegant and clean if you know what i mean and then the other thing that my stepdad did is he also put the stove in here it's not on obviously but he had to cut this for the tab and the stove which took forever and was so loud but now it's finally done the tap water is already functioning how cool is that so yeah here you can see how it looks like from down here Everything is set and ready. And underneath here, we will probably put our um, bins um, to save some, some space in the kitchen. So yeah, this is the progress from today. And it's making such a huge difference, you guys. It just feels already like a real kitchen, which is oh, so refreshing, especially when you compare it, how it looked before. So yeah. <laughs> So it is the 2nd of January, so Happy New Year to everyone. I hope all of your wishes come true in 2022. Today we will actually give the living room some love and we will put everything that is in here out. We will scrub the floor where all of the little paint um, spots are. We will scrub it, 
then clear it completely and then we will try to um, get the armchair and the sofa from the bedroom in here so that actually it already starts looking like a living room. I just can't wait for the sofa to get in here. So yeah, I will take you along. So let's go. <laughs> took us about two hours but the next task will be to put the sofa here <laughs> Chairs here. Here's our mirror that will probably go on this wall or this one, but I think this one will look better. Then our lovely sofa that looks kind of brownish in the camera, but it's actually green. And then over here we have our table and the chairs, and it will be here until we have a more fitting one. Then this will go in the bedroom as a desk. And yeah, so it is coming together more and more and now we finally have something to sit on all right so this is the final day of episode two i hope you enjoyed it tell them what we decided today when will be our moving date Hopefully. ah so we're planning to move in on the 15th of january mm -hmm. 2022 <laughs> <laughs> so in two <laughs> weeks and then we actually had exactly one month to yeah. make this home ready so i think it's a very good moving date mm -hmm. and we actually already came pretty far we cleaned the floor yes that was the job for today we actually yeah. had to scrub pretty hard to get all of the paint out it's, it's not much, everything but it's much better yeah it's much better so the living room is already looking much like cozier yeah. um so i think in the next days it will um we will finish the kitchen because there has to be like a stove and oven in there and then we will actually continue doing the bedroom, I think. That's yeah. the next That's bigger the next project. Whereas the, the, there's the, the janitor that has to remove the old things from the kitchen yeah. and they are now in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. So we have to wait for that and then we can do the bedroom. Yes, and the bathroom also needs some help. So there is a bit to do, but I think we will be ready to move in in two weeks. All right, so we really hope that you enjoyed this episode and we also hope to see you again next episode. Take care. And bye. Bye. <laughs>